everyone. Back again here on Monday. It's the 23rd. <clears throat> we got a bit of rain last night, so we couldn't demo the combine today. So Chris and I are actually going to go take a look at this Wacker Newson excavator that I was telling you about last week that we couldn't get to. They were working and uh, didn't have enough time to be able to, to give that up to be able to go. So we were originally going to head to Brantford, but um, the yard there is all plugged up with trucks today and some other stuff. So we're actually going to head to another dealership just outside of Cambridge that has one that we can play with this afternoon and let Chris uh, get a feel for it and see what he thinks. So I'm just headed down to pick him up in uh, Ingersoll and then we'll, uh, we'll head off to that dealership and I'll get some footage of him playing with that excavator so you can see it. Something we don't see very often in Ontario is sunflowers. So I'm actually out touring today. Um, didn't have a whole lot to do this morning. Did a bunch of paperwork and stuff like that at the shop. And then uh, I got a bunch of names off of my manager and he said, why don't you go for the road and see if you can go out cold calling and see if there's anybody around you can stop and talk to. So. That's what I've been doing all afternoon. I got another hour or so here, but uh, it's been good. Little sign that we've got that says, uh, sorry we missed you with a contact and everything like that. But I've been able to speak with a lot of people today, which has been good, um, whether it goes anywhere or not, but uh, at least they know who I am now. So we're just about at the customer's place for this 930 demo, so um, a little earlier than we were anticipating, which is great. We're really going to be there for 1 o'clock. It's almost 1030 here, which is good. Get that started. Um, so all I know so far is that uh, it's, a, it's a big hog operation. Um, we got a big tanker that we're putting this tractor on, and uh, they're coming from a competitive tractor that they think that the Fent might be a little bit more efficient. Um, running up and down the roads to, to run the spreader with. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, when I get there, I've got to put the uh, GPS measurements in to be able to set it up for, for auto steer and for logging to show where they've painted. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about all we got to do. And then we'll be starting to run up and down the roads a little bit.
we've been running this 930 on the tanker and one of the issues we were having right off the beginning was uh, it was very laggy, if you want to call it that, on the transmission going down the road. It took forever to get up to speed. So one of the things I was playing with was um, in the transmission thing, you can go into the auto. Um, if it's in auto, it's going to ramp the thrust transmission up as it feels it needs to be. And because of the weight we were pulling, it wasn't getting up to speed fast enough. So by switching it to manual and then running your percentage up, that actually made a huge difference for dragging this tanker down the road. Hi everyone, welcome back. Trucking down the 401 this morning on our way back out to where the 930 demo was yesterday. Um, overall, had a good day. Uh, customer was uh, was happy with the tractor. Um, <clears throat> did a bit of a comparison to a, a previous demo that he had with a, a different brand. And uh, we, were, we were better in a lot of different places. Um, one comment that he made was that the uh, the other tractor was a little bit faster to speed, but um, come to find out that it was actually almost 100 horsepower more. So it, uh, of course, it's gonna accelerate faster. So anyways, we had a good day. Um, we had a few issues with some GPS, getting some offsets put in because the manure tanker has a nozzle on the back that's set two and a half feet so, to the right. Just to show, um, not every demo goes perfect. And I've had, a few demos over the last 15 years that uh, that we've had small issues with but somehow we always managed to keep going we always managed to, to make the customer happy and, and be able to to show them what we're trying to sell um, but it's not always perfect so this is a good example of that um, he's going to keep running this tractor probably most of the day today he'd like to get this 40 acre field covered with uh, with the tank and he's doing about two and a half maybe three tanks an hour so it's going to take a little bit but um so we do demos we try to give the customer 15 to 20 hours depending on the scenario uh obviously with a manure tanker you'd like to try and complete a field with uh with that setup if you can um so that's what we're going to try and do for for this guy today um so i uh i got a bunch of aerial photos yesterday i'm going to try and get some more ground stuff today just to to add uh, some different perspectives, um, I'll show the cab and how I set up the uh, GPS and the hydraulics and everything like that. Um, one of the things I really liked about this older tanker was it, it had an air, uh, air inflation system on it. It was the Agribrink system. Um, so we had to set the tractor up to be able to run the flow uh, for the hydraulics on that pump and then run a monitor up into the cab so that we could uh, turn it on and off and everything so so yeah so we'll do a little bit of an overview there uh, show you what's going on for him again today um, and yeah we'll uh, we'll just finish this demo up I'm hoping to only be there for an hour and a half or two hours then uh, I'm likely going to go grab the draper head from the the demo that we did on last week's video and get it moved down so that it's staged ready to go for uh, for the first of the week here so, so yeah so I'll show you what we get when we get there tractor we're demoing today uh, it's a 930 they say that it's 300 horse but it's actually rated at 296 engine so you're 240 250 PTO uh, we're pulling an old 6750 noon tank here this was the Agribrint system I was telling you about so this tank has got to be 20 years old and they put this system on it to help with the tire inflation and it's controlled from a control box up in the cab um, we're running a standard 1,000 spin PTO and we've got 
three sets of remotes plugged in here. So we've got an auxiliary that he's not using. <clears throat> this is the gate to open and close after the PTO is turned on to control whether or not it uh, spreads or not. And then this is the uh, hydraulic line that drives the hydraulic motor for the compressor. So up in the cab here, one of the things that we were having some troubles with yesterday was getting the offset figured out. And what it is, is on these tankers on a noon especially, the nozzle is to the right of center, two and a half feet. So when I was setting it up yesterday, um, I was doing the math. You can see here. So we're total width, spread width is 33 feet. So half of that would be 16 and a half feet. So I added two and a half feet to here to make it 19 feet to get us the offset, which is correct. After I've double checked and double checked, that is the right number. We've got it running now. He's rolling back and forth here. Um, his coverage map looks awesome and uh, he's really getting onto it. He's, uh, he's an older gentleman and it took a little bit with the buttons and stuff, but he's doing really good. So what I've got it set up for is when he gets to the field, he turns the auto steer on. He goes to cruise one, which is five mile an hour. He turns the PTO on over here. And then we turn the min throttle button here. So that's going to set it to the minimum we need to get a thousand RPM. And then if the tractor needs to rev up or down more to maintain the speed it can, and then all he has to do is knock the joystick to the right and the cruise control will activate and he's off and spreading. This tanker has a Agribrinks system on it. The tanker's older, but uh, they're running the tire inflation as uh, we're going in and out of the field, which is I had never experienced a tanker with this. It's pretty neat. So on the on the display here, this is the pressure that it's building, and this is the RPM that we're spinning the, the pump at. And over here on the side, this is what tells us what we, we have in for pressure in the tires. So when it's up, we're at 40. When it's down, we're at 18 percent, or sorry, 18 psi in the tires as we're going in the field. 